The J on the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest me. Don't What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Um, we got the after party kicking it off with my girl, Moochella. Ew. That's what's <laughs> up. And then, of course, Pretty Girl Love Trap content. What's up, beautiful people? What's good? What's good, everybody? Uh, welcome to the show. Um, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to these lovely ladies' channel. They out there producing content on the regular you don't want to miss it. They putting in hard work. I got the links in the description box. So check it out. Um, now we're going to talk about Power Book 4, Episode 7. The show is almost over. I can't believe how fast this stuff goes. Uh, Moochie, what did you think about this episode? And what would you rate this episode? Look, I've been with you from an hour after it dropped. Right? The first night we gave our first impressions, right? That's right. And I feel like ah, I'm kind of still not satisfied with the episode, but I'm here for it. Okay. And I don't know what your rating what, I forgot what your rating thing is. The most I, old, I give it a F. There go the ratings right here. 25 for is the, the max visual? for each category. Yeah. 25 for the visual storyline okay. plot. I give it a 20. Okay. I won't even say I'll give it an 18. Okay. Because certain stuff hit, certain stuff missed. Special effects, 25. Entertainment fun factor, I give it a 19. Okay, so that so gave you I'm a total. I'm gonna give it a C, like I said, a C with with everybody else. C a C plus. Okay, that's an 87. Um, I'm kind. I was kind of just. Yeah, I was kind of, I look. I love the show, but I'm kind. I was kind of disappointed with this one. I feel like this was a, a build up and fuller episode, all together. I say it like that. Okay, all right. Any any scenes that uh you liked or disliked or stood out to you? Uh, the scenes that I disliked them keep going back and forth with the chemist. Okay. We already know she's trying to make the product. We didn't have to keep going back and forth with all of that. Right. Very redundant. Yeah, some people <laughs> said they showed that a little too much. So, um, okay. All right, pretty girl, what's up? Uh, what did you think of this episode and what would you uh, rate it? It's definitely an average episode, so I'll give it a C plus. Okay. Um, you know, after I watched it the first time, I really couldn't remember what happened. <laughs> and that that's kinda bad to be like, hey, what happened? Like, yeah, that's not good at all. But I give it a C. It wasn't bad. It was just average. Um, I definitely enjoyed uh any scenes with Liliana. Um, she's one of my favorite characters. Um, but yeah, just average for me, honestly. Okay. Um, did anything after watching it again or anything you like, dislike? Um <laughs> I like D Mac looking out for Tommy. That was definitely something he didn't have to do, so I appreciated that. And yeah, Marshall gotta go. He's doing too much. <laughs> He's on my hit list. Go. I'm sorry, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh they do have him thugging in in damn near every show he been on so far. And I mean, he one of the nicest uh, young dudes out there too. So that's that's the crazy part about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as the character Marshall, he is doing too much. So one of the things that we talked about um, on Lamont's channel, um, and for those who don't know, that's what we was just live. So definitely check us out there as well. Um, he was saying that. Marshall cut D Mac out the deal. Um, what do you think about that, uh, pretty girl? And uh, do you think that's what happened? And what's your thoughts on that? And D Mac popping him upside the head too far, right? What <laughs> that, yeah, that hurt my head. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, I mean, not calling uh, Marshall dumb, but I'm like. Hmm, was this cutting D Mac out? Was that all your idea? Like, I don't know. But yeah, I, I 
at first I thought he was telling the truth because, you know, Jannard was asking, hey, where did D-Mac at? Oh, I've been calling him. He's not answering. I guess he's busy. So, I, you know, I believed him until D-Mac pulled up on him because um, he was doing too much on social media like all these young dumb uh, gangsters be doing, uh, telling their business where they at. I'm glad uh, Enemy didn't pop up and uh, <laughs> did something worse. Um, but, but, yeah, I... It was it was a lot, but yeah, I I don't like that. But I, I feel like Marshall he kind of has to go. He he's going to be pivotal because he is a small link between um, CBI with in Chicago and Indiana. But at the end of the day, he's too young and reckless, and people like that don't last long. That's true. That's a good point. Muchi, what's up? What you think about what what happened with them? And then what's up with with Freddie Gibbs? And we seeing him where, you know, they wasn't able to see eye to eye, but um, <laughs> eventually JP heard what he was saying. <laughs> you did. Marshall was doing too much. He, he, 86, he cut D-Mac out to seal, deal, 86 him out to deal. And then it was like, look, this is mine because you saw, but... The way it looked, it looked like D-Mac came up with that idea. Right. Because he was doing most of the talking when they went to talk to Janon. Mm -hmm. And then for him to do that, and then you steady posting like, oh, yeah, this is the best night of my life, da 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 this and that. He played himself. I, just, I don't yeah. know how this is going to go. Right. I um, just think about something. Go Would ahead. You know? Oh, I just thought about something. Um, in the barbershop, when they pitched the idea, they saw how Jannard pretty much X'd Diamond out of the situation. So maybe that's what D-Mac was like, you know what? Exactly. That probably, that probably put that, you know, that light bulb in his head. Like, you know what? I should go ahead and backdoor D-Mac. I said that the, the first night me and Jay talked about oh, this. Really? Remember I said okay. that? Yeah, because I feel like he did that Cause you know people only do what they see, and that's mm -hmm. what was messed up about Janai. The way they are, him and Diamond argue in front of everybody. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And he talks about Diamond in front of everybody. Yeah. That's your brother. You don't let everybody know how you feel. Exactly. You don't yeah. like if you and your brother got a problem, and I feel like he has a problem with him falling behind, even though. He was supposed to fall in line after that fight they had. Mm -hmm. Diamond still came with you and got rid of Tommy, and you still doing too much. Yeah. Right. You um, still doing too much. Do oh, you? That eye look crazy. I know, right there, boy. That. Yeah, though, you got a good picture of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a rapper named Freddie Gibbs. For those who I know don't his know, eyes not like that. We go, I learned that Saturday yeah. night when we came on after. Right, no, that's and not I wasn't even gonna come on, but I was just like, you know what, I'm going I'm gonna come on. Yeah, <laughs> come on, get get on up I there. Look crazy, mm -hmm. boy. He could see the future with that boy and the past simultaneously, mm -hmm. straight up. That eye was no joke, magic eight ball. Um, so. <laughs> Do you all think that this uh, meeting may turn sour or we may see Marshall end up getting killed with future uh, transactions with them? Because who knows, man, They these young boys is a little quick um, to pull out the gun, as we later saw. Um, pretty girl, what you think about that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, if something happens to Marshall... His cousin will probably want to seek revenge. Um, but with a lot of people, business sometimes come before family and personal things. So he may still continue to do business with Jannard. But Jannard, he'll backdoor his own brother. So we right. know he's not a good businessman at all. So it is going to come to a situation where they, have, they always, you know, they mention how Gary is centralized. And so there's going to be a lot of money that's going to be made and people are going to get greedy and those situations never work out perfectly. Right, right. It seemed like my damn camera is froze right here. I'm glad I didn't have my eye uh, looking like him <laughs> while it froze over here. Boy, I would have been people that thought I was doing it on purpose. 
Uh, I can't see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Right, right. So, um, while I'm trying to figure out what the hell going on with my my damn thing over here, what's up with Blackston? We now see him back on the show, a Chicago show. Um, for those who don't know, that's Reg character. Um, how many people think he gonna live and die? Put a 1B if you think he ain't going to make it. Put a 2B if you think he will make it to the end of the season. Moochie, what you think about Blackston over here? Tony Blackston. Uh, I know I don't want people to die. I, I give know, it a right? 2B. I feel like he's going to give Dom a heads up and let him know what's good. And I'm going to give it a 1B. Yeah. Because when he said that you still want to do this even though Diamond don't want you to do this? Right. He knew that was shady. I just feel shady. like he's going to give him a heads up. I hope, I, I know the other night when we was on your live, people were saying he might be uh, in uh, informant because he just came back in town. But I don't want to think that. I feel like he was just somebody that was out of town and came back. Right. I don't know about the informant part. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that either. Um, I think he just came back to get put on. Um, yeah. What's up, uh, pretty girl? What you think? Shout out to my girl, Kelly. What's up, Kelly? Got to see you tomorrow. Um, all right, pretty girl. What's up? You think Blackston going to make it? Um, or is it going to be the last song for Tony Blackston? Uh-oh. He may be around for a little bit. Maybe, you know... At least until mid next season, possibly, um, because you know he, you know, was on the shy and you know was a very good character there. So I don't feel like they would just bring him here um, just for a couple episodes. So um, if he does die, I feel like he is going to be a pivotal chess piece because I agree with Mushi. He will um, give Diamond the heads up because you can tell he was uncomfortable with the brothers, you know, arguing and everything. So. He definitely, you know, it's he seems Team Janard at this point, but I feel like he's going to notice Janard may not be the best side to pick. <laughs> he's right. probably going to be a little unstable, especially when he get a little hit of that dally a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he may be around for a little bit longer. All right. I don't know why my damn thing is froze right now, but we're going to keep it moving. The show must I go think on. I'm going to go a step further. Okay. I'm going to piggyback off of what a pretty girl said. I feel like, do you all remember when Elijah saw how Janar was sniffing the coke mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the looks he gave? Mm -hmm. Right. But he ain't say nothing. Yeah. I think he's going to see all of this and he's going to see him with Dahlia because remember, he got that vial in his hand still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he's going to be going crazy with that. He's going to finish that up. <laughs> right. He's gonna finish that up. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like Blackston gonna be like, yo, D, yo, this don't look good, man. I think he's getting, he getting away from this shit. Right. I think it's gonna be some shit like that where Diamond already took the vow from him. But if he get it back and sniff it all, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's funny. Did y'all notice when they was all in the basement and Janard came in and asked uh, D-Mac for an update and he told Janard, like, hey, as soon as, you know, I hit the word, he did something with his hands like this, you know, you'll know. And then mm -hmm. the camera did a quick shot when of Janard looking at uh, Blackston right after D-Mac said that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, why did they hand to them? So I'm hoping they not possibly trying to plot against D-Mac. Mm, okay. I had to re look at that and pay attention to that part. That's that's good observation. Um, what do you think about this scene where he trying to push the little black dahlia over here and how Diamond was shutting it down and wasn't even trying to hear it? Um, and they kind of basically put a riff between the two of them where it's gonna make people choose sides. Brillo, the big review. Check out his channel. He said uh -oh, Diamond need Diamond that water cut. cut Man, got the scissors like he at the barbershop. Need a clean shave cut off. 
Okay. All right. So, so what you think? You think Diamond need his water cut off? You think he was wrong for how he was shutting down the opportunity without hearing it? What's your thoughts on this pretty girl? See, this is a problem with this organization. Normally, when you have a corporation or an organization, management have their own meeting. They don't argue and discuss things in front of the employees. Yeah. So, you know, they need to be private with their spats. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't know if they really figured out the hierarchy, if there is. I'm not sure if they think it is 50-50 or one is, you know, the president or the vice president. They need to figure that out first. Mm-hmm. But this team and the future scene just shows how inconsistent Diamond is. And I agree with Diamond. It's a new drug. You don't know anything about it. So why be risky about it? You know, first do your research. But then we see him meeting with Tommy, and now he's intrigued. So it's like, okay, do you not want to go back to jail or not? Like, it's just, he's just too inconsistent for me. I'm just not understanding Diamond at this point. Mm-hmm. Moochie, get in there. What's up? I got an answer to that, pretty girl. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's thinks that Janoy is kind of reckless with the way he does things. Mm-hmm. And remember, every time he talked to Tommy, he'd be like, you got to know your next five moves when you make mm-hmm. a move. And I feel like he knows that Tommy does that. That's true. I, and y'all, mm-hmm. you, you want to ask me, well, then why did he side with Janoy at the end of the day? That's his brother mm-hmm. with the other thing. So you still want to side with your brother with certain stuff. Right, plus Jannard mm-hmm. all in his ear, and yeah. Diamond can't get in that ear because it's all shriveled up and wrinkled. He can't get in you that. You know what? I can't. And... <laughs> you gonna take it there? Look, yeah, I'm, he, I'm he trying to get, get in your there. ear, yo, but you know it's all balled up. Where I can't even, you, know you know don't even hear me, son. It won't even <laughs> right. It won't even open up all the way. So I'm like, come on, me, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So. I mean, yeah, but no, real talk, though, he is in his head and been all telling him about how he need to stick together and you can't trust Tommy, and he wore him down. And so I think Diamond need to to take a step back, look at what's really going on first, and then maybe uh, decide what he should do. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, who he really trusts right now is Tommy. I mean, we saw when he got the drug, he went to Tommy to find out about it. Mm-hmm. And even though they voted Tommy off the, you know, drug island, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was Survivor. We voting you off a druggy island over here. Um, they did handle it where it was no bad blood. They paid him the price, and everybody was able to walk away clean. And so, yeah, Tommy wanted to keep getting the money, but he had the backup plan, and he didn't cut them in. Maybe if they didn't vote him off, maybe he would have cut them in. Now, he didn't tell them, and I don't know, this looked like glitter. Why would you sniff this in the first place, man? (laughs) What you think about him? They're not sniffing it. They putting it on the lip and kissing Mm -hmm. each other. I know, right? Well, they doing both, but... You ain't about to see him trying it like that with Tommy here. Put this on your lip, Tommy. Come here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? This really do hit. Jannara going to be putting on his food like it's black pepper or something. Yes, he is. He's going to be doing everything. He's going to be doing the most with that shit. Right. <laughs> hey. So what you think, uh, Moochie, about how he ended up going to to see Tommy when he wanted to I get feel some like he info. went to Tommy because he know Tommy is strategic. He knows that Tommy is wanting to take over the city. And I think he feels like Tommy is behind this drug because the way he walked away. Mm-hmm. He walked away too calm. Right. My girl Jocelyn said Diamond don't want to go back to jail because them hips don't lie. You know they Jocelyn. Oh no! <laughs> e- expand on that. What is she talking about, Moochie? Look, he do got hips though. <laughs> he got hips like the the dude from Sweetie Pop. Oh no! And he used to play football. How he got hips like that? I think he got but hip look, injury. Look, look, the upper part is right though. <laughs> Look, the upper part is the right. Like, upper part. But when, 
Yeah. You got real like serious when you said like that. The shoulders <laughs> and all of that, but you know, but the, the like he got you no. Know. Right. Rohan's yeah, talking. He wasn't cracking jokes in cell block D. <laughs> look, I, I know the real reason why their hips look, don't here work. Here we come. Look at those hips. You were saying that when you were walking through stairs, right? Right. My <laughs> my legs may not work, but your hips don't work too good either. And I know why. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> no man, but uh, you know, uh, Jeremiah said diamonds should stick to football. <laughs> All right, so so pretty girl, what's up? What's your thoughts on him and going to Tommy as his confidant? What do you think that means uh, for him? And then versus not going to his brother and different things. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> I don't think it's a big coincidence that, oh, a new drug pops up. Oh, a new person pops up. You know, so it seems, you know, Tommy may be, you know, the one up behind this particular drug. But Tommy didn't really deny it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you listen, you know, Tommy never said no. He just kind of worked his way around it verbally. So, you know, they're both mature. They both been in the game. You know, well, Diamond's been locked up. But, you know, they both are mature. And have been around for a minute. So, you know, you can tell and can sense what somebody's lying or not. But, um, mm. yeah, they may form a partnership, but Jannard is just such a wild card. And, yeah, Tommy can't risk being exit out in another situation. So, yeah, I don't I don't know what will happen, you know, in terms of them forming a partnership with regards to Dahlia. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. Uh, and, I mean, as of now... I mean, he just got out of jail. He's not really trusting his brother's leadership and what his brother been doing, even though that that's kind of weird considering his brother's ran it for 15 years and mm -hmm. you didn't have any problems. So now all of a sudden you don't trust it. So we'll see um, why and uh, if he may change, have a change of heart um, later on in the episode. Um, now, what do you think about, we all know that Walt Daddy is sick and he was, uh, talking about, I don't care about this shit. I left the gate open cause it's my house. I always leave the gate open to my own house. I'm the goddamn devil. I know where I live. Anyway, <laughs> we also saw this one scene where he was talking with Vic. And Vic said, I chose you every time. And he said, that's loyalty. That's loyalty. He said, no, nah, I was I was dumb. Uh, I should have chose her. What do you think, man? He got his little Mr. Rogers neighborhood uh, you know sweater on. <laughs> you, know, you thought of Mr. Rogers when you saw that sweater, right? Like, right. He ain't got no sweater like this the whole series. <laughs> yeah, you, right. you want to be Mr. Rogers now. Right. You were saying he was a devil a minute ago. Right. Mm -hmm. The devil in the red sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the red dress, call me the devil in the red sweater. What's up? What y'all think about him and Vic? Do you think that it's over with between their relationship? Because... You know, Vic tried to smile it off, but he hurt right there. He didn't lost his little chocolate. He lost that piece of chocolate. I'm trying to do my moochie right here. He got that chocolate. Once he got a piece of chocolate, he don't want that. That's what that. I said. Uh, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Did I do a good job? Yeah, you got a chocolate. Chocolate. He got that chocolate. Coffee. He got some of that coffee. Cream accent. Like, I got yeah. a heavy New York accent. I, I can't that, help it, y'all. He got that chocolate coffee. Chocolate and coffee. Chocolate and coffee. He was like, ooh, ma, I got to get some of that. <laughs> he up here looking to the sky, reminiscing. Boy, that was some good chocolate right there with my coffee in the morning, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> listen, 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 Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he got rocked to sleep. Like, <laughs> he got rocked to sleep and then left with a Dear John letter. Right. Mm H-E-A -hmm. said, I'm butchering the New York slang. <laughs> 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 but it's a good thing I don't care about that shit. 
<laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. But I sound like that, though. Nah, I'm just. I don't think I'm, I got an accent. That's what everybody say. <laughs> so, <I'm> going, so. <laughs> so, I so. Right. So, do you all think that him and his pops relationship is over with? Uh, Moochie, what you think? I feel like he's he feels messed up because she left, but he's there. Mm -hmm. He still he look he was like that's a loyalty son. <laughs> how, you, how, you, how you said it? <laughs> right, that's loyalty. You got loyalty. You choosing Papa? Look, he could have dealt with this two different ways. When that sh when they got shot at, and Gloria handled her business. They could have kept that between themselves. No, he went and ran to Papa. Mm -hmm. Right. He could have went to Tommy and be like, yo, we got to take care of this. I'm putting you back in. There's mm -hmm. two ways he could have went about this. He chose right. to run home to daddy. All right, pretty girl, what you think? I'm going to be moving this camera trying to fix it, but y'all just keep okay. going. I ain't going nowhere. Right. I mean, love sick Vic. I mean, that's his new name. Um, but yeah, she put it on him so good that he didn't even hear her move out the bed. She probably packed a few bags. <laughs> she locked uh -huh. the door like you didn't you didn't hear nothing. She put Pretty it good. I mean she, she was doing sure it back. back, she was doing it in circles, she was doing everything, she was doing the most. She <laughs> saw the wine, uh, the wine glass. Look, I'ma throw it back. I'm, she remember she Jamaican, so you know she was whining it. Dirty right. wine. Slow wine, wine with me. Slow wine she was with dirty me. Dirty wine and then throwing it back, throwing it in circles. <laughs> she put, she yeah. put him in a coma like sleep. Right. Karen she said she <laughs> Karen said she put him in the sleeper hole. And I ain't talking about with them arms. She, she put out all the moves. She was just like <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, she she put that shaman rakes on him and <laughs> he, he was done for. But I'm like, okay, girl, I'm not mad if you went ahead and got your 40 acres and a mule. It was much deserved. <laughs> Once she put you through enough. Right. So yeah, I don't know. She I don't think she's gone forever though. She may come back. Once a good girl's gone, she gone forever. <laughs> This mm -mm. song forever. Well, she was throwing it back, throwing it in circles, and then left him with a dear John letter. She messed his head up all the way around. Were you in a club looking at pictures? Mm. You in a club with all with booty all over the place. Mm. But you looking at that picture? That means right. you got good, good. You ain't lying. I mean, shit, you got me over here thinking about it, how you described it. Throwing it back, dirty wine. Yeah, throwing it back, dirty wine, throwing it in the Reverse side. cowgirl. Mm-hmm. Uh. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. Ew. <laughs> right. Yeah. Straight up. Patra, the shower rakes, the <laughs> <laughs> Patra. <laughs> I done forgot all about Patra, boy. She was, she had, she could work them hips, boy. Patra. Ooh. Ding a ling a ling. School bell ring. Ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. School bell ring. I want to get some more of that chocolate thing. That's the remix. <laughs> Ding a ling a ling. No, nah, but uh, God, <laughs> ting a ling a ling. I forgot all about that one, boy. Shabba ranks. If you, if you ain't uh 30 and up, you might not know who the hell we talking about. <laughs> go on YouTube. <laughs> right, it's go on YouTube. Large. Put in Shabba ranks ting a ling. And I, I said ting, <laughs> not ding a ling. Um, you might that's a whole nother video you ain't probably want to see, but uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is up with this fake ass wannabe journalist over here putting her life on the line to try to lock Diamond up for some old wannabe Watergate and it turned around and Diamond broke that Watergate and uh, she started to forget she was on the job. He made that Watergate, you know what I'm saying? It started to flood. So, uh, what's up, uh, pretty girl? What you think about her? And I think 
you know, she might have got a little bit more than she could, you know, chew on this. Bite off more than she could chew. <laughs> Yeah, we already knew she, you know, had another motive. I mean, of course, I'm disappointed because I wanted Diamond to have someone just real, you know, like something to be good for his court. But, yeah, of course, you know, there was rumors people were saying that she was a reporter. Um, But, yeah, honestly, I feel like her only way to get out of this is to kill her co-worker or boss, whoever that is. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she got to get her hands dirty. Right. What if she just quit her job and tell Diamond what was up? Well, then somebody else will be probably given that story. But he could at least be on guard, maybe. I don't know. He already getting the nookie from her. I mean, he going to screw all the reporters. <laughs> <laughs> she going to screw all the subjects. That's the problem. Like, what, what's going on, girl? Right, right. All right, Moochie, <laughs> what's up? What you think about little mama over here? Uh ready to, you know, try to do what it takes to get this story out there and win a Pulitzer Prize, even if you got to lock up another black man. Adrian, she she ready for that rocky road. What's I up? I think her editor is going to have a problem. I think she's going to die just like the Asian chicken snowfall. <laughs> yep. No, I'm sorry. Like, why they... Why she happen to be an Asian chick too, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. What, they love to write? I don't know. Look, all I know is, look, I'm getting cross reference and look, I'm like, this was stuff. Right. You need to get that hate out of her. Definitely. Get, get, get that hate out of her. Get it out your award. You got to get that hate out your award. She need to tell Diamond what's going on. Yes, she do. Yeah. She never asked, you absolutely right, Rainy J. Never ask what her background is. Angela, mm-hmm. help out you do that too. Never ask what she did for a living. He was just all up in it. Mm-hmm. Right. And all she gave up him so in many it. Well, he was all up in it, twisting her out, and she opened. When she they like, first she don't even want to write no article no more. Hell no, she opened <laughs> she like 7 Eleven. for dinner <laughs> and throw it back at dude. Right. When they when they first met and she said my day is just getting started he should have questioned her there because most people have a nine to five if you got 11 to eight girl we need to talk like what's going on like some weird schedule like what you do for a living are you a nurse are you a nurse yeah are you a co ups at least something ups (laughs) do you drive a bus what are you doing (laughs) right the hell you doing uh you know in the army we do more between 11 a.m than most people do all day (laughs) (laughs) right his house for some work she has breakfast for dinner that's saying all of that right there right she wanted some of them cakes them pancakes gave up some cakes only to get some more cakes for for return investment Mm -hmm. Diamond questions everything else but her. That's true. That is true. Angela help us say a word, pretty girl. Um, definitely a great point. Um, yeah, you 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 go against everything your brother say. Not saying that's wrong, but why you ain't think about this? What? Never trust you know a big button to smile. Because he ain't had no poon tang in fifteen years. Hey. The little head was thinking more than the big head. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> like Jay Z said, the power of the P U. Uh, the little I head was you. thinking more than the big head. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that other head had time to catch up. I'm just Look. saying. Look. Right. With and the head, head, there's another P out there. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Hold on. Wait, wait. Look, wait. I'm going re- to go back. This is like what episode in and he's finally getting some skins? His brother ain't even give him no party when he was getting some tail. Right. To, to get get something off so that way he be focused when he do get a piece of tail that he like. That's true. I thought it was gonna show us because remember when he showed uh Diamond the barber shop, he said, I got some business to handle, but I'ma take you out. He said something to the fact that he was gonna treat him out no, to a good time. No but I thought they was gonna show us. No, he didn't get no booty. All he showed him was the the, the, the barbershop 
and then they was back in business again. Mm -hmm. He ain't get no tail, and he been in jail for 15 years with no cookie. Right. And then the first thing, swinging and letting her eat off the fork and all of that. <laughs> Yo, you gotta look, think about all of this. She got into this right here with that. I know, right? She got, like, like once you get in here with a dude, Oh, what's that? Yeah, you got, got the that. body. Yeah, it back. If you get the mind, the body will follow. That's what you're trying exactly. to say. She was throwing it back, throwing it in circles, and then like, ooh, you a boxer? She was picking him up too, corn. Now she didn't have to do much. Like she, she did. No, she one didn't. line from a boxing match, and it was. So she sack. quoted. She quoted some boxer. Mm -hmm. Let him eat off her plate. Do it in some circles. And that was that. Right. I mean, I'm not saying he, he did something too. Because she opened too. <laughs> yeah. He's open too. He kicked that back door in. Y'all know about the back door. He didn't kick that yeah, back door in. And flipping it and running <laughs> it down. She's like, what? What article I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> right. She like, I don't know what pen I'm supposed to use. Because this one right here. Like, like what pit look, look, let me get my pencil case. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because I got a whole bunch of pins in here, but what do I need to use? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. She quoted Sonny Liston. Yeah, she went yeah, but look, fell but she for that love, TKO. Liston, he knew that because you know how you be reading books when you in jail. <laughs> and she throwing it back in circles. Yeah. I think Diamond's gonna be the last one to find out. Either Jannard or Tommy, somebody's gonna do recon the old girl, and it's gonna be a mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you woo woo woo? Like That's right, ATA. Can you woo woo woo? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely had it on him, man. And uh I mean, yeah, he ain't had none in a minute, no, and she's a, a good looking woman. Uh, yeah, he definitely, definitely fell for the okie dope. But, like we said, she opened to, he didn't kick in the back door because he ain't had none in a minute. So he was on his tippy toes up in there. Um, Heck yeah, he was 10 toes down deep in it. Boy, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely he was over there. Now this is a good one right here. Smile now, cry later said Diamond did seem suspicious when she picked up that knife. He probably see right through her. She said he was an open book. And he said not so much. Okay, what do y'all think about him her grabbing the knife? I don't know. I think he don't like no, no blades around him after being Yeah, that's just that you about that. No, no, no. <laughs> We talked about that Saturday, right, Jay? Mm -hmm. I had a problem with that. She picked up that blade, and he was like, let me, you know, he was calm enough to put it, to say what he had to say, shoot his game, take it from her and put it down. Damn right. Yeah, she you was don't get excited, because mm -hmm. you don't want her to get excited. And you say, you know, put it down. Definitely. Put it down so I can put it down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, I'm going to throw it in circles while you in this barber chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, they had the hydraulics on that chair. You know them barber yeah. chairs? Do -do, front, back, side to side, spinning mm -hmm. around like the rodeo. He was riding like a rodeo bull up in there, boy. Yeah, she was riding just like one of them mechanical bulls. <laughs> sounds, sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sound good. Speaking of sounding good, this did not sound good. This damn date right here. What would you have tried to do, pretty girl, if you was the chemist and you got Liliana trying to go over here and sit right with y'all? Um, what would you have tried to do differently? Man, as soon as I seen the waiter try to bring me to a table with three seats or try to bring an extra chair, mm -mm, my uh, my homegirl over here going to the bar. <laughs> like, she could have went to the bar, could have went to another table. Like, girl, are you all up in their date? Like, she already told you. She, they was trying to do you know what, even though she wouldn't let her out her reins to, you know, go, go that far with old dude. But yeah, 
it was doing too much. And talking about this, my cousin went by marriage. Right. <laughs> right. And she wasn't even like trying to play along really while she was there, all uninterested. Um mm -mm. ruining and then everything. You were old girls Sorry, go ahead. No, nah, I just say she was just there ruining everything. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying she got on Liliana's clothes. Like, did you freshen up in the in the lab uh bathroom? Like I'm just saying you've been working all day. Lord knows what you're smelling like. Liliana been running around. Doing God knows what. Took like, a whole bath up in here. <laughs> right there. So, uh, Moochie, we can't hear you. <laughs> we couldn't hear you, Moochie. <laughs> he said, I don't, Ronald Kim, I don't understand why she wore Liliana's funky clothes. <laughs> I, I know, right? All right. So, you, uh -uh. you the chemist, what you about to do? To differently to avoid being in this situation if you was the chemist. Um, I feel like she shouldn't have sat at the table with them, Liliana. She should have been at the table like where that man is sitting. That's where she should have been. This guy? Yeah, but facing the other way. Right. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting right at the table with them? You, homegirl already told you, look, this is my third date and I like him. Mm -hmm. You know this is the end of this, right? She's yeah. not going to see this dude again. Yeah, Stedman Graham about to bounce. Yeah, he dude is gone. <laughs> yeah. He then like... you come here with a girl with a buck 50 splash in Ooh. her face. And y'all talking like, what? Like, nah. Mm -hmm. She had the hooker lipstick ready for this, him. I, I just don't want this. Like, I was kind of like, why? <sighs> why? Yeah, that was messed up. Plus... That also uh, made it so that if something happens to her, they gonna say, "Well, I was at a date with her, and this other lady was there with this scar." Yeah, so she should have rescheduled something, mm -hmm. or just say, "Hey, I'm bringing my cousin. Do you have a homeboy? Like, I know it's last minute. We could make a double date out of it." That That's what she should have did. <laughs> That would have been a hell of a double date. He'd have been like, oh, yeah. And then here she is with this damn scar and hood as hell. They'd have been like, man, what the hell? Yeah, because she was like her whole frame of mind, frame was hood. Why mm -hmm. you couldn't talk like how you was talking to the doctors? Mm -hmm. you right. Talk, you could have put that energy there. Yeah. She act like she wanted to ruin it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This dude look like Elvin from the Cosby show over here. He ain't know <laughs> what to do, man. <laughs> S-curls going, all right. Boy, bro. ain't nothing but ultra perm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, I'm with you, Tasha said. This was childish. That was childish. I get it. They, they want to keep an eye on her, but the way they doing it is going to make her not want to mess with them. And they should have tried a better way before it got to this point where there's no trust. Um, what's up, uh, pretty girl? Do you think it could have been a way where they could have brought her on board and it was trust involved? Or you think, no, there's no way they could have did it? Yeah, I mean, the doc is in, in a weird situation, but I think she's handling as best as she can. You know, she's, you know, Going along for the ride, as we'll see later on in the episode. Um, but, yeah, I just think she just should have rescheduled the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Moochie, what's up? Do you think there's any way that she may, uh, they could possibly make her a part of the crew? Or is it too little, too late? Um, I don't think they're going to kill her. They need her. But for how they long? They need her. She says she's not going anywhere. The question is, what will happen once Liliana knows the whole recipe? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I still don't think it's a good idea to get rid of her. I don't think it's a good idea to get rid of her, and I don't think it's a good idea to get another chemist. Yeah, because now you got to start all over with somebody. You don't know if you could trust mm -hmm. them. Exactly. And if they get another chemist, you got to risk somebody else following them and kidnapping that person. Yeah, the more people that know, the, the worse. Look at Janoy, he's desperate, yo. Mm -hmm. And she said so it herself. He, he, he's a fiend for it. 
Yeah. She said it'll take good. half a MIT to figure out, you know what I'm saying, the the um components and mm-hmm. not just needing her for okay, let's say if Liliana gets the recipe, um you never know. There may be troubleshooting that may, may need to occur in the future. They may be low on one product. Liliana is not a chemist, so who's going to be able to figure out, you know, the ebbs and flows if there is a situation where they may need to substitute something for another or they realize, you know, something is going on with the drug. If people start buying it and realize, hey, it's causing this effect, what can we do to correct it? Uh, but yes, it's, it's a lot to... She needs. She definitely needs to stay around. But I think she's down. You know, she's definitely. She, um, she wasn't was going nowhere. Jay, yeah. you don't know nothing about that. All he know how to do is mix drinks, girl. Exactly. <laughs> you can't even do that right. I even got it all negative in the uh, in the books, losing money like he is. And he's um, so desperate. He try to sell it everywhere, like he's an ice cream truck or something. <laughs> He'll be. Yeah, he's a fool. So let me ask y'all this then. Do you think Tommy should cut JP in on the business? Moochie, what you think? I feel like he might use his bar to clean money, but I don't think he's going to be in the business like that. Mm-hmm. He's going to be doing stuff with his books and stuff, but he's not going to be in the business like that. Tommy... Is family orientated and he doesn't want to risk his family. He considers mm-hmm. him his, that's his actual brother. So he's not, as much as him and Ghost went back and forth, he still thought of him as his brother, but he wouldn't kill him. He was mad at him, but he wouldn't kill him. And he ain't want nobody else to touch him. So I don't mm-hmm. think that he's going to, he doesn't want to drag. JP in this because he doesn't want to risk his life. Right. Okay. Um, pretty girl, what you think about that? I'm so interested in the dynamic because we see JP is begging to be in the game and I can see D Matt possibly wanting to get out the game and Tommy's in the game. So I'm just trying to figure out how this whole dynamic will turn out because <sighs> Yeah, I just hope they become one big happy family, but that's not going to be the case. Um, but JP, I feel like if Tommy doesn't let him in, JP is going to force himself in possibly with another crew um, or, you know, somebody opposing Tommy. And it could possibly be CBI. We don't know. Mm-hmm. He's going to find his way to make some money. That's true. And uh, I, I said uh, in the beginning of the show, that he would probably end up laundering some of that money. But I think it would be a bad move considering he already bad with money and messed the money up. How you going to money, launder money and you've already proven that you ain't good with money? So. Yep. I, I feel like somebody got to come in and teach him how to do some books and do like finagle stuff. Claudia. Yeah. That's true. She's good. That would be a good one right there. Um, all right, so what do you think about this whole Dahlia situation at the club? They had, uh, you know, all the men getting hooked with it on the lips. Them lips were sealed like chapstick up in this piece. <laughs> do you think it's going to backfire? Do you think some of these women are going to start to fall for these guys? Do you think, uh, what do y'all think about how this, you know, Dahlia go? Uh, Pretty girl, what's your thoughts on how they did this? I'm curious. Okay, so they're putting putting Dahlia on their lips, which is one nasty, okay? But (laughs) it doesn't seem like the the girls are getting high, just the people that kiss them. So They letting them suck it off their lip. They not ingesting it. Yeah, but there's no way that they're some type of way ingesting, you know, <laughs> this drug. I don't know. It's a little, a little odd. Right. But I don't know. Like they have what maybe ten girls. Um, they do have strict, you know, uh, rules. You know, they explain, hey, we're gonna give you a list of the players. We're gonna tell you, you know, all the moves. If you see somebody babysitting in the corner as a cop. If you get hemmed up, here's a card. Don't call us. Call this number. So they're definitely, you know, giving them some good, you know, 
they had a good training session and I am mad that that training session was at Claudia's penthouse. Like, why would you let these people know where you rest your head at? That's not safe. Um, cause you never know. Um, but I don't know. I don't think this plan is necessarily foolproof. Okay. Moochie, what you think? Uh, I agree with you on that. They, she should have never had them people come to her house. She should have never had them people come to her house. But you got to keep in mind, Claudia is not hip to the game. She's still a rich kid at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And she feels like 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 uh, her money could solve certain things. Mm -hmm. So with this whole thing, it was wrong that she, they went to the house and did that. She do have her crew where they was she I like the way she had everything under control where like if you get stopped by the we only gave you enough so that way if you get stopped, it's not no, no problem. You won't get any type of charge. Right. And this particular girl right here that you saw that was with Janar, she gave him the whole vow. Mm -hmm. She wasn't supposed to do that. No, nah, she wasn't. She wasn't supposed to do that. That's going to cause a bigger problem. I, I'm going to give you another thing. Everybody's like, wonder why. Well, why didn't the girls get high? Because they had it on their lips. Maybe because they had lipstick and a, a gloss and all of that on it. They wasn't getting the full effect of Dahlia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that. Well, there were like, some, mean, like some tongue kissing going on. Like, y'all swapped. Yeah, they was doing too much. Too much. <laughs> It was doing too much. What in the COVID? I don't know. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> the COVID. Why you, Savannah said, I wish Claudia's money would buy her some nice clothes. <laughs> how you say it, Jay? She's dressing like she's in the office. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the office. Doing the books. Right. <laughs> Where did you go? This is why I don't have you on top. Where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> Is it me or does it seem very premature that y'all are pushing this product and y'all haven't figured out the sauce yet? Right. Like, can y'all make sure y'all get the recipe down pat before y'all start promoting it? Like, it just yeah. didn't make sense to me. And get a surplus available so that whenever somebody needs it, you can always hit them instead of making it on demand. That's exactly. Yeah. But. Like, uh, I guess he's who was the guy from last episode that uh, Cody killed? He put in his pre order. He yeah. gotta have his order ready, and he seemed like he had all right. the what she had when he was open. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. it seemed like he was like a fiend when he came back to Claudia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. Uh, shout out to Karen Jones. So was Janar giving Dahlia on purpose? Definitely, I think so. What do you all think? Yeah, he was course. giving it to her. <laughs> In the car. Fair exchange. I'm gonna give you this D <laughs> vitamin D, and you are gonna give me some some Dahlia she vitamin Listen, powder. Listen, she said at the, at the meeting at her penthouse, you all have your marks. Mm -hmm. So that girl was put on him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she was putting on him. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, hmm. Yeah, so they got a bunch of people they know would be able to afford it and use it, and that was a good way to kick off a new product. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I love a promotion. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, before we get ready to wrap it up, um, what do you think is going to happen next episode? Um, we did hear Tommy say that they need to bring in a new cook. And he, she asked, uh, Liliana said, who you got in mind? Might be two bit. Um, or something else. What else do you all think is going to happen the next episode? Uh, Moochie, what you think is going to happen for the next episode? I feel like things with... We're going to see how everything transpires between Indiana and the CBI boys. We're going to see that. We're going to see what's going to... It's still some consequences and repercussions between... Marshall and J and and D Mac, and then we still got Walter Flynn. Don't forget I about feel like that, Walter Jay. Flynn and Tommy, and all of them going to be fighting the serves. And somebody, so, I don't know if it, somebody mentioned earlier, like 
even though he knows that Tommy went after the serves, why didn't they, he go after? Why didn't Walter Flynn go after Tommy? I'm telling. He knows. I know why he didn't go after Tommy. That's his nephew. Okay. This is nephew at the end of the day. Don't be surprised if we might see Kate with this is episode eight, so it's eight, nine, and ten, right? Because this was uh, yeah. seven, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's eight, nine, and ten. We go if if Kate is coming the way JP wants her to come, we're gonna get some answers, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, pretty girl. What what do you think for the next episode? What you <laughs> I want to see Maury Povich, okay? Because Kate is being called into the office. Um, I need a uh, JP and a uh, Janard, not Janard, JP and D Mac. I need everybody to figure out what's going on with their families, okay? It's just too much going on. Um, I need Marshall to die because he's going to be a problem. Um, <laughs> I just damn the Serbs. I mean. I just hate the way they're they're very inconsistent on the serve. They have this this rep that supersedes them, but they seem weak. They always get in a drop, like pulled out on them. Like I'm not understanding. Like are are they <laughs> are they hard or not? Like I'm trying to understand. Right. But is something going to Walter Flynn? If he, I don't know how many more episodes he got left. I feel like he still will be around next uh, season. But I feel like he's going to cause a shitstorm before he grows. Yeah, because uh, also, as far as him and how long he'll be alive, um, they they may make it pick up exactly where it left off, and it may we may see him. You know what I mean? It may not be a time jump, so um, yeah. it's definitely Just possible. The serves ain't shite. <laughs> <laughs> You're both shite. You can't shoot Thanks, with right. them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, man, uh, I definitely think that we may see 2-Bit come back to help Tommy because Tommy needs somebody else that he can trust in his life. And that's pretty much the only friend he has. Um, or in, Yeah, so um, I think we may see 2-Bit uh next episode as well and so uh we'll see and then we'll see what happened with gloria um some people thought that she got kidnapped i don't think she got kidnapped um i think she put him in to bed and had him take a nap um, <laughs> <laughs> and then Rachel she bounced <laughs> right you know like i said I think she was throwing it in circles, throwing it back, mm. putting it in a whole loop and all of that, mm. put his ass to sleep. Mm. What's the more say? <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's the phone? I ain't never coming home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't never coming home. Right. I think she put it on and I think she put it on big. Right. <laughs> Damn, man. It sounds great. So We'll see, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, what happens because they've pretty much told all the parts of the story. So now we ramping up to seeing how this season ends, and uh, definitely want Rojas to come back. So we'll see mm-hmm. how that turns out. Uh, let's all go on Instagram and tell them bring Rojas back. <laughs> go yeah. on uh, Joe Secor and uh, all the writers and everybody and tell them we need Rojas back um, mm-hmm. definitely appreciate it <laughs> alright uh, for the for the hashtag J Moore Reviews giveaway um, let me set this I thought I had it already working I didn't even go let me see if it's in here hold on um, they put it up it normally still tracks it. Um, see, it didn't track. It only got three entries that it tracked. So, um, I thought I had it loaded, but I didn't. So, that's on me. So, put in yeah. the, put in the hashtag JMore Reviews. Um, it's only it's six yeah. entries right now. Put up, smile now, cry later. Put up JMore Reviews. Hashtag... Yeah. J more reviews. I definitely hashtag J more reviews. Yeah, I forgot to put it in. Um, 
That's what she said. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> but uh, definitely go ahead and uh, hit the hashtag J More Reviews. What should be the giveaway today? Uh, should it be um, a week trial in Discord, ten dollar cash app, or a coffee mug? Ooh. I'll say Dahlia, a Vala Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll have you forever. Everybody putting it in there. I know, right? <laughs> then whoever wins, I'm the one that really wins. Because <laughs> you will be mine. You take that the shite. McDonald's gift card. Right. Okay. You take that shite. You'll never go home. You'll always be <laughs> here and true. You stay true to me. Because I have the Dahlia. You trying this mm, new Baby Jay said coffee shake. mug. Coffee mug. They say coffee mug. All right. Uh-uh, Savannah said Spanish uh-uh. mug. No, we are not. You got Get the Cosby curse. No Cosby nonsense. Now, you let me tell you something about the Spanish fly. I dig a little bit, you put it in the girl it. drink, and let me tell you something. Hello, America. <laughs> You saw it, right? Yeah, I, I've like, been trying to do the Spanish review. Like, hello. I know. Hello. He I said, I put a little bit of the way. Spanish fly in the coffee, and I said, uh, boop, beep, beep, boop, hey. Next thing you know, no, I got that. Like he was talking about the jello pudding. Right. You got the pops in the pudding, in the flying, in the filth, in the flying, in the filth, <laughs> all in my face, and I said, and the eyes rolling back. <laughs> <laughs> right. What they did on the Cosby show opening with that. <laughs> I said, ooh, hello, America. Get a little fly with the Spanish in the Spanish with the fly. And I said, ooh, what flavor is this pudding pop? <laughs> I'm saying, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He said, once they take the Spanish, he's like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> doing the pudding pop thing. Right. I said, hey, hey, hey. I said, put it in there. I said, you made my album real fast. Let me put a little bit of this in your pot, baby. Hey. Let me put a little of this in your drink. I said, hey, y'all, we going to make some music down in the yard. Hey. Oh, gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Got some Spanish fly today. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she said, oh. <laughs> All right. I done did a lot of Bill Cosby impersonations. Really? <laughs> Doing that before he was in trouble. <laughs> mm. Should have known better. He gonna put you in a different world for real. I know, That's right? No, they even talking about him on Winning Time. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they had him uh, getting out the, uh, going to the party at the premiere. I know. I, look, I yeah. was busy. I was watching last night. Where I couldn't leave notes, but I was busy. Right. Yeah. Winning Time is a dope show, man. I really yeah, like that show. I was taking show. my notes for that last night. I was watching you taking my notes. Mm-hmm. I was doing a whole multitasking. Mm-hmm. If y'all watch Winning Time, Moochie's um, channel yeah. on Saturdays. Yeah, you need to come with us, Jay. Come on Saturday. Let me know. I'm going to send you the link. Mm-hmm. Because I talk about it on Sundays, but I know it don't seem about it on Sunday. not enough people watching it yet. I'll be busy. I've been taking show. my notes for, for this. Yeah, I'll be doing too much right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. Look, I can't do it all. Hey, I already know. I'm behind on uh-uh. so much. Jenny I girl said Bill up. Cosby. Bill Cosby. Let me tell you, they call me the Bill Cosby, and I don't <laughs> appreciate it. I say, cut that part out of the interview, okay? Call it out now. Call it out, Okay. <laughs> Me and Camille, we don't take the pills. We just pay the bills. We need, oh wait, Rainy J said we need to talk about Cosby was too much. Everyone making a big deal out of a basic thing. 
Did you watch? Okay, Brady J, did you watch the documentary? Yeah, I need to do my review for that documentary. I might try to finish no, my wrap up tonight. No, we need to do tonight. like a whole little thing where we leaving our little. Did you watch it? Yeah, Radio? that shit was good. Mm -hmm. It's on Showtime. No, I, I watched it. Yeah, somebody said HBO. It's on Showtime. No, it's on Showtime. Boy. Yeah, it's excellent. The first episode. I mean, he been talking about doing this to women his whole career. Yo, that's the crazy part. Women didn't have no rights for, you know, most of this world damn near. It, you know, as bad as black folks had it, women had it just as bad. Savannah been going hard. Go outside and fight right now. <laughs> you ready to roll around? <laughs> Moochie been and rolled around with you, boy. Look, we gonna roll around on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna pull that Fresh hammer. Boy said he out. wanted a Moochie pop. Who said right. that? Fresh boy. A moochie pop. Look, Let me get a little moochie pop. It's a Look, nice little piece of chocolate. Like I get the chocolate. Said Spanish fly was considered a mythical aphrodisiac. That is true, but it's real. And you can buy it in the sex stores. We did talk to somebody. Remember that moochie that said they've even seen it and tried it. And they say it does work. So, I remember, I remember yeah. that night. We was on late that night. Right. Don't tell everything we was doing well, late at I night. Mean, I ain't gonna say everything. <laughs> you ain't gonna talk about me falling asleep and you waking me up. <laughs> I had to wake you up. I ain't gonna say yeah, what I, I woke you, how I right? woke you, you up. That, right? Yeah, I ain't gonna say how I woke you up, but nah, you won't look, you won't I said, wake up. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I said, wake you pulled, up. You pulled no. a Gloria Moochie. You pulled a Gloria. Yeah, a Gloria, <laughs> right. Gloria. She tried to go to sleep first. Gloria, then when I went to sleep, she was gone. No. Nah. nah, it was like one of those nights where we, you know how he goes on late after power? And then we mm -hmm. did like some other late thing, and he was like, You're sleeping, Moochie. <laughs> 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 you made like, me sound like uh the cop. You made me sound like uh old girl uh, from Power. What's her name? The cop. <laughs> You're sleeping, Moochie. Wake up. You're on <laughs> duty. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but Spanish Fly is legal and still available to this day, I believe. It is. Yeah, so if you go to one of them sex stores, you can find it. Just make sure you with a consenting adult or else you could be sharing a room with old Pilly Pill. Uh-uh. Then I ain't say Pelly Pill. I said Pilly giving, Pill. Listen, <laughs> if we're going to talk about this, Jay, you need to do a whole segment on this. Yeah, I'm going to do it because it's only four episodes, so I'm going to do one for each episode. That yeah, reminds me, segment. come to my show on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. I'm talking about relationships, grown folks conversations like this. We're going to have question answers, interacting with the audience. I done did it the last two weeks, Tuesdays, Real Talk Tuesdays at 10. We talking with the men, ladies. All the type of questions about relationships. You don't want to miss the miss it. The last two weeks has been fire. Moochie, pretty girl. Y'all definitely are invited to come as well as everybody else. I'm trying to see something new. We got everybody want to watch Kevin Samuels give you all kind of crazy advice and talk crazy. Well, let's come on. Let's support somebody trying to tell you something real. And with a little bit of uh, uh, humor, something real without the pill. That, uh -uh. That's my new commercial for the show Tuesdays. Talking something real without the pill. Uh, and I got a little something real without the pill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Uh... He said Magic Johnson was jealous on the show. No, nah, he was over no, there getting his own. No, he was jealous Bill Cosby. He was like, all them people's coming at Bill Cosby. I thought he was just starstruck. I didn't look at it as he was he jealous. He was starstruck and he was surprised how all the people was coming at him. Because they right. said it in, in, on the thing. Talking all the cookie. Look, Jay, I took my notes for that one. <laughs> you was already on when I was taking my notes. And I was like, Dad, I can't even come on here because I was busy. 
Oh uh, yeah, I watched it live and uh and do it. No, I be listening. Look, I was watching you taking notes. Um, no, I was listening to you watching that and taking notes. I was multitasking. <laughs> okay. All right, we got forty people, and what does people want? A, a coffee mug. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Well, too bad. It's a free. No. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do a coffee mug. Let's see who wins. The last person that won the free Discord membership, they didn't even hit me up on in, uh, Instagram yet. Are you serious? Well, I think they won yesterday. So, uh -uh. I don't know what's up. All right. Let's see. What happens? I'm about to hit draw. If you ain't put it in, you about to miss out. All right, here All we right. go. One, two, three, boom. <laughs> Price is right. <laughs> Tazi Fifty checking in on Twitch. Taji50, what's up? Are you still with us? I don't know, but right before that was Suburbia Jones. Suburbia mm -hmm. Jones, that's what's up. Another Coelho. She love me again in the morning. I think y'all need to take a look at Scarface and see who was taking the Coelho's voluntarily. Another Coelho. <laughs> she love me in the morning. Another Coelho. She love me. <laughs> You think that you're telling me? What you think? You talking to me like some goddamn bad boy, huh? You talking to me like I saw some cockroach? Say good night to the bad guy. I'm Tony Montana, huh? Love Scarface. Taji Lyles, do you need to go back to Twitch? Yeah, just to be sure. Um. Yeah, because it's saying you want it on Twitch. Yeah, and it say Taji50. You here on YouTube now. If you could go on Twitch. It would be very appreciated, just to make sure. I doubt it's another Taji 50, but you changed your name, so you could be impersonating the real Taji, huh? I don't want to know, huh? I don't want to know. Rojas don't know. I have to know, man. You have to tell me. You now, look, now you thing. sound like the dude, the, you sound like people's from Shaft. <laughs> from Shaft. <laughs> you talking about uh, what you call it when he started stabbing himself? Yeah, uh, yeah. You I'm you, you it, oh, I'm telling you, you telling it, oh, I'm telling it, that's uh, what you call it, he ain't even Puerto Rican, uh, I know, but he did a good job as people, so I don't care what nobody said, he did an excellent job, what was he saying when he was stabbing himself again, you killed my brother, you must kill me, <laughs> that's Jeffrey Wright, excellent actor, Jeffrey Wright, <laughs> you killing my brother, uh, you kill my brother, you must kill me. <laughs> you wanted to know it, Jaff. I don't tell you what I do, Jaff. Huh? You want to know it? You have to figure it out, huh? You killing my brother? <laughs> you kill it, huh? You want to do it? <laughs> Tashi, she said she, she logged back into it, so. There you go. Uh, 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 All right, uh, I was too busy uh, talking over here. I'm sorry. Yes, All right, like Taji, you win. You still got to hit me up on Instagram with oh, the says, information. She, she get a Discord trial. That's what she said. That's even better. Come on through. Hit me up on Instagram still. And I will give you the link to come on through to Discord. This time, please, whoever wins, don't be shy. Come through when we watching movies. When we conversating and talking, join in. Conversate, talk listen something it's cool to look at the posts and comment on the posts but don't be scared don't be scared it's only talking <laughs> it's only talking no nah, but uh <laughs> come on through uh moochie pretty girls in there myself about 50 60 other people and uh yeah everybody oh, oh okay i'm sorry i thought you he said he's I'm a man also. Okay, my bad. Oh, uh, see? Don't come to Discord. Just forget about it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm joking. 
Oh, I'm a man also, she am. Uh oh, he coming <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know because I'm all man, but I ain't got <laughs> hips like diamond. That's all I'm trying to let you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I do know how to work mine. That's why I'm trying to let you know. You know what I'm saying? All oh, man up here, Moochie. Yeah. Well, we get to Mooch on. Do you uh, need an uh, invite to join hey. Tasha Polka saying? To join Discord. Um, mm -hmm. So if you want to join Discord, you can become a member of the channel. If you are a Tommy Egan level member or higher, you can be a member of Discord um, and be able to talk and hang out with everybody. And if you uh, are not a Tommy Egan level or higher, then you won't be able to be in Discord. Now, um, I'm trying to do this little different things to offer for people um, instead of just the $10 or whatever. So try to make it a little little more interesting for people. Um, here's the link right here I just put in. If you all want to join the channel, I just put it in the comments. Victor Scott, one of the newest members in, uh, in the family. I appreciate you, brother. Um, with the super chat and uh definitely appreciate you joining and, and coming through and uh you know everybody you know i appreciate everybody for watching and uh yeah i got a video for you for coming through for the super chat i ain't get too many super chats so let me get a good video for you hold on all right here go a classic oldie but goodie Jesus Christ! Who's your friend? Oh, do you find me sexy? Oh, look at my titty! Oh, oh my titty! Ha! That was Walter Flynn before he went and lost weight. <laughs> yeah. Make sure y'all like the video, y'all. Definitely, um, and everybody. Go ahead and subscribe to these lovely ladies' channel. They're doing a lot of hard work uh, creating content and trying to put together their channel and everything. So um, not only subscribe, but watch the videos, too. And uh, you'd be surprised how much you uh, enjoy the videos. you got to give everybody a chance. So um, definitely check it out. Watch the videos. Like, subscribe. Um, definitely appreciate you all for taking the time to watch tonight. Um, we was up to like 160 people at one time. So I definitely appreciate it. And, uh, everybody that's still here with us, uh, definitely appreciate it as well. And, uh, everybody have a good evening. Be safe out there in them streets and, uh, you know, have a good night, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. The J know the very best refuse. Tell them nothing can test me, don't.